Boom. You said over message to me that the East Asian martial arts were based on Taoism and the I Ching. Absolutely. Where else do you think they came from? I don't know. That's what's curious to me because well, you study martial arts. Isn't it all about you know working with the flow, working with the way? You know all that. You know all that stuff. Depends on who you go to. Well, I'm talking about the real ones, the real, the real deals. Right. I mean, they understand it's a, a, de- it's a whole development thing, right? And also, they understand how things mo- move, and so you you move with your opponent, right? You, you know, and you and you use his energy or his force with your power. You can use his force against him. So yeah, it's all it's all Taoist, and the I Ching is is built on the I mean the the Tao Te Ching, and the uh, Chang Su and the Wen Su, and some others, a few others, are are built on top of the I Ching, right? The first uh, system of notation. This is before writing, by the way. Before there is written words that we know of, there was a binary system of notation, like just like ones and zeros. This is why people got really excited about it. A couple of hundred years ago, so so yeah, the, the history would be like kind of like that. Now these days, I mean, who knows what's passing for r- real martial arts or tai chi or or whatever, and 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 there are definitely some r- complete, absolute, one hundred percent frauds, demonstrable frauds, claiming all kinds of things, and oftentimes they'll be dressed up like Taoist wizards or something or like kung fu masters, and they. You know, they go like this and they knock somebody over at six feet. Have you seen those? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I've seen that. Well, I've had, I did a bit of jujitsu, a good amount actually. I got really into it. Isn't that Bra- a Brazilian? It's, well, uh, no, no, it, it was popularized by the Brazilians because they really took over the UFC with it and they kind of turned it into one hell of a weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's originally Japanese, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, as is judo. Well, if you look at the history of Japan, I mean, they got they got uh, Buddhism from Korea, right? And with that, I mean, they built the whole the whole, the whole samurai culture, the shogunates, all that other stuff. Aren't they all right? Totally, like into this stuff. Yeah, they are. So I Ching, Taoism, Buddhism, and then yes. you get a reformation of Buddhism around the tenth century, ninth, eleventh uh, century in China, and then it gets picked up and taken to Korea and Japan, right? And then that gets incorporated into everything. And they each put their own little stamp on it and they have different levels of it depending on who they're speaking to and, and, and what the time is. For example, somebody like, uh, what's his name? Uh, real popular, Bo, uh, Huang Bo, Huang Po. He was a reformer, right? And, and at the time, Buddhism had become completely codified. It was like administered by the state. You had to pass an exam in Buddhism or Taoism or Confucianism or something. And so these people were going through the motions. They were doing, okay, the book says to do this, you know, do this, to have my begging bowl, to have my, you know, my bell, my whatever, and all this. It was all ritual with no, no juice. And so, and they, and he assumed correctly that everybody knew about the 10 stages. Everybody already knew about, the, you know, the foundational uh, Mahayana precepts and principles. And he was trying to get people to let go of that stuff because they were, they were just, they had lost the kernel and just holding on to the shell. And so that's why you see some of these very dramatic, uh, like, uh, like Dojin uh, and, and uh, Wang Po and these people that are really popular these days. But when you, when you go into YouTube, they, pe- people don't have any idea what they're talking about. It's, it's wild. They think it's, he's being funny. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, it's, it's like terrible. Have you ever been to a... Uh, a movie and people all they laugh at the wrong times or give a talk and they laugh at the wrong times and then you tell a joke and nobody laughs but then you say something serious and everybody thinks it's hilarious because they don't understand right yeah well i've done that a couple times with you but yeah okay well you know welcome to the club okay so uh does that help yes yeah that does help okay good any other things before any other questions before we do you have another one or yeah yeah Give me one second.